Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're playing Superstar JYP and Superstar Stacy. Gonna be going over the January 25th, 2024 updates where really there's not too much going on in game in terms of events. So as you can see, the events banner page is very, very short, but there was a huge overhaul to the actual Superstar games themselves. And all of those updates are listed in the development update news that you can see on the bottom left there. So the ordering of this video is we're going to talk about the most important stuff first, talking about the weekly league updates, which I believe is the most important. And then we're going to wrap up this video with the mission events because really there's not too much going on there. So let's go ahead and check out the development update news. So first things first, even though I only play Superstar JYP and Superstar Stacy, this should apply to all of the Superstar games. So even if you don't play the two games that I play, I saw an Instagram post showing that all of the Superstar games were updated. So this should still apply to you, even if you're playing a different Superstar game. One thing I noticed about the actual notices page is for some reason in Superstar Stacy, there's just pieces of text that are missing that are included in Superstar JYP. So I'm not really sure why that happened. Maybe it's just a quality check issue, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the development update news up on the left, and then we're gonna use Superstar Stacy on the right to kind of illustrate these different updates. So first things first, what I believe is the most important update of this week is going to be the weekly league rule revision. Now, this was a really good quality of life update where basically more people can get more rewards. Those who don't play the game actually get a little bit punished by getting demoted automatically. And then it actually makes it more competitive the higher you climb in the tiers. So that was a lot of words. Let's go ahead and head over to the weekly league in Superstar Stacy, just so I can get my point across here. So previously, the rules were very straightforward, where the people who were in the top five ranking got promoted up to the next tier, and then the people in the bottom five ranking got demoted to the tier below. Now it's this kind of scaled system where when you're on the lower tiers, it's a lot easier to climb up to higher tiers. And then when you're in the higher tiers, it's a lot more difficult to climb and it's a lot easier to fall. So again, previously it was the top five got promoted and the bottom five got demoted. In this case, I'm at gold two in Superstar Stacy, which is like the second to the highest tier. So in order for me to advance to gold three, I really need to work very hard and make sure that I am getting the score scores I need because only the top three now advance versus the previous top five. But since it is the second to the top tier, it does make it a little bit easier to get demoted. So previously only the bottom five got demoted. Now in this case, the bottom six are getting demoted. So this is a nice system for those who are new to the game because it encourages them to climb up to higher tiers and get better rewards. Speaking of rewards, they actually updated the rewards, which is a huge, huge, huge improvement. The reason y'all never saw me talk about the league in my previous videos was because there was it was so linear. There was really no point in talking about it. You either ranked in top five and got diamonds or you ranked anything below top five and got just a small amount of RP for your trouble for the week. And it felt very, very discouraging to play in the league if really all I was going to get was 5,000 RP. Now they've done a total overhaul of the rewards, and now it's nice no matter which rank you end up with at the end of the week. So previously, again, tiers 1 through 5 were the only ones that got diamonds. Now, as you can see here, everyone's basically getting diamonds, and that's absolutely huge diamonds again are this game's premium currency that you use to actually get cards so if we look at these weekly rewards even in the bronze tier which is the bottom tier for playing for the week even if you get the lowest possible rank you are still getting diamonds and that's absolutely huge because previously all you would get is literally a small amount of rp there were many weeks where i ended up in like sixth place and got like 5,000 RP and I was just like well that stinks that I didn't make top five didn't get promoted and instead of diamonds I'm only getting RP this is a huge quality of life update which is going to promote more people wanting to play because now even if they don't do well even if they don't have a bunch of premium cards they could still end up with quite a few diamonds by the end of the week just for simply playing the game. 
Now, one thing that they did add in the update is you do need to play at least one song in order to participate in the league. So, for example, right here, this person on the bottom has a score of zero, meaning that they haven't played any songs this week, and that means they're going to be exempt from the league for the week and then demoted unless they play a single song. So, again, promoting people to actually wanting to play the game, which is just really, really good for earning diamonds, earning RP, just staying active in the game, checking out some of the new things that the game has to offer. So overall, I think this weekly league update is absolutely huge and makes a huge difference. On top of it, not only do they make it so that everyone gets diamonds, the RP bonuses are now higher. You're also just getting cards just flat out here you go here are some extra cards and while they might not be the best maybe you'll get a bunch of b tiers maybe you'll get a random s tier it's all going to be able to be used for fodder or materials in order to level up the cards that you want so this game is making it easier to play easier to get rewards and making it more competitive and honestly i think that is absolutely huge i think this is a huge quality of life update and i really hope it encourages people to want to be more competitive or at the very least just play more frequently knowing that every single week you've got additional diamonds coming your way no matter what ranking you get which is really good this is actually very important that they updated the rewards for the week because it gets rid of an old strategy that a lot of pro players use in superstar games where if they knew they couldn't climb up to the next tier what they would do is they would purposefully get demoted in one week because again if all they got was like 5000 rp there wasn't really a point in trying especially if they knew they couldn't level up so what they would do is they'd get purposefully demoted and then they would use all of their like level 99 cards, all of their top tier stuff in order to be number one for that week and then just bumping everyone down. So basically you had a pro player who couldn't rank up in their own tier. So they went down a tier and then just totally aced that tier and then just took the top spot and got diamonds. That way they could at the very least guarantee that every other week they were getting diamonds rather than just staying stagnant at like rank 10 and gold something and only getting RP. So that was kind of a way that made it difficult to compete because if you were trying to climb, then you had all these random people who were just hunting for diamonds. You would get stuck in their league very well knowing there was not a chance for you to uh, rank up because all those people just ranked down in order to take the diamonds for that week so i really love this update to the weekly league i love the update to the rewards and i really think this is huge for the superstar games so that's going to be my talk about the weekly league rule revision and why i think it's incredibly important because it makes people want to play the game more it makes it more competitive the rewards are a lot better just a huge quality of life update and once you've played enough games you know that the best thing that could be done for any game that requires daily play is having huge quality of life boosts all right moving on to the other parts of the development update news so they updated the news page which is going to be the first page that you see when you hop into the games so first thing the images are now tappable. So unlike before where it was just, this was just scrolling and that was it, you can now tap each one of these individual things and then just jump straight to the page that it's on. This is really good because again, I've complained about this time and time again, there's a lot of load screens in this game. So to be able to just quick navigate to exactly where you need to go is very, very nice. The bottom order UI of the update news has been changed to a numbering system, making it easier to check the event sequence. So these used to be just a bunch of dots, but when you think about it, on the right side on Superstar Stacy, you can see this four out of eight. It just used to be like eight dots all back to back. Now it's a numbering system, so you can kind of see where you're at in terms of the updates. The don't show for today button has been removed and at first I thought this was a bad thing, but the nice thing is that once you close out of the news, it doesn't show up for as long as you're logged into the game. So if you turn off the game, hop back in, the news is going to pop back up, but it's not like before where whenever you return to the home screen, it would just randomly pop up and then you'd be like, oh my gosh, now I got to wait for this load screen again. Now I got to get out of the news. No, it doesn't show up again for as long as you're still logged into the game. 
All right, so in terms of the pop-up shop improvements, the don't show this again today for today button has been removed from the pop-up shop display upon entering the lobby. Again, just a quality of life thing, just so that you're not pestered with it every single time you go back to the lobby. Closing the pop-up shop displayed upon entering the lobby ensures that the pop-up shop will not appear on the lobby screen until the game is reconnected. Again, just a quality of life update thing here. The top one and top two theme effect improvements. Now, this one is really just a sheer aesthetics thing where the event that was previously only exposed when clicking on the top one and top two theme card or purchasing the top one and top two theme card in collection slash card book has been improved. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they mean by that. So I only have one top one, top two purchase, mainly because it was a really expensive pack. But if we go here to Teddy Bear, so you can see it here, 2023 top one. These are the cards that they're talking about. So they do have kind of a little bit more of a glow in comparison to their regular version. So this is the Isa version of Poppy that I got from the top one banner. And then this is the regular version here. So as you can see, this is mainly like sparkles, whereas the other one had like a whole animation associated with it. All right, so that actually wraps up the theme effect improvements. Basically, these just got prettier is the long and short of that theme effect improvement, which is really nice because, again, these were really expensive. Just to get one of these cards, you had to spend like 28 US dollars, which is absolutely crazy, especially if you planned on getting all of them. And if you got all of them, kudos to you. Thanks for supporting the game. Guys like me are enjoying it. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the actual mission events now, now that we've talked about all the updates and you've heard my thoughts about the weekly league updates and why it's so important. So looking at Superstar JYP first, we only have one limited theme update and one event that was updated. And that is Twice's new limited theme, Go Hard, which is reflective of the season's greeting. So let's go ahead, check out the actual shop itself. And really, for anyone who's been playing this game long enough to know what a twice banner looks like, this is literally 100% the same thing that you've gotten all the previous times with twice, where there is a limited period point reward where you can get an R grade card selector. Again, selector's really good for just finishing that last member that you don't have. It's actually even nicer in Superstar JYP because there's no prisms or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about getting multiple members in prism. As long as you just get the singular version of each member, you are good to go. There is the special package that costs $21. There's the profile set, which you can purchase for $14. The starter package that you can pay $7.50 for. The Go Hard R package, which is going to include one R grade card and two A grade cards, simply because Twice is a group that has more than six members. So you get three cards versus the potential one card. And then you also have the Go Hard A grade card, where you can spend 150 diamonds for one random A grade card. So very standard stuff in terms of the Twice banner. Now, one thing that makes this really difficult is Twice is a nine member group, so you might have to pull multiple times to get multiple selectors in order to make sure you get OT9. The nice thing about Twice, though, is because it's a nine member group, the mission event is a little bit nicer. So this is going to be the mission event. And mission one is pretty standard where you play the song five times. You get an A grade limited theme for free. And then mission two is as you collect A grade cards of the members, you do get B grade cards, which is really nice. Now, in terms of using mission two to help complete mission two, B grade is only available as part of mission two. You can't get it from draws. You can't get it from pulls. You can't get it from the banner. So in order for mission two to benefit you, you do have to have two of the same members in order to advance them to an A grade card. However, if you're looking to just do OT9 and then you'll just level them up after the event expired, then this is really nice because you can just get more members. Even if they're only B grade, you can level them up later and still have OT9, still have an OT9 limited theme, and then go from there. So I really like Twice's mission events because it's a lot easier to get members that you want or to at very least get OT9 because you can get so many different chances at getting each member. So it takes roughly about like 2,000 to 3,000 diamonds. So just keep that in your back pocket in case you're wondering how much uh, it's going to cost.
Now, for all your troubles for completing the mission event, you do only get the twice go hard wallpaper, which looks really cool. Don't get me wrong. But again, I really like to use my diamonds for things that involve sweepstakes, for things that involve signed items, because those are physical things that you get to keep for yourself. And they're very, very limited. They only go to a certain number of people, whereas almost everyone can earn this wallpaper. And that's why I usually stray away from mission events where you can only obtain wallpapers. And oddly enough, that just kind of wraps it up for the Superstar JYP side of things. We're not gonna talk too much about the other stuff. So the Star Pass, same as always, here's all the rewards you can get from it. I went over these in my past two videos, so not really gonna go too much in depth for that. The Special Currency Star Pass, just like the other Star Pass, see how high you can rank before the end of the event before deciding if you want to purchase the premium pass because if you don't make it all the way to the final tier it might not be worth it for you to purchase the premium pass and instead just collecting the free stuff goodbye 2023 really good for collectors who are trying to finish a set that was created in 2023 because as you make more purchases you're going to get the card selector and again card selectors are busted for absolutely just making sure you complete a group get your ot9 get your ot6 whatnot so selectors really really good but again it's limited to themes that came out in 2023 and limited theme package for each group it's total bait don't do it don't spend your money it's really expensive and it's going to be incredibly difficult to complete a theme so that wraps up everything on the superstar jyp side of things and just like with superstar jyp there's not too much going on with superstar stacy so superstar stacy has a new original event theme card with you and if we look at the banner itself, really not too much going on here. It is going to be a standard Stacy banner where you can get the limited period point reward, where you end up with an R grade card selector. There's the profile set you can buy, the starter package you can buy, the celebration package, which is only existent for the first three days of the banner. And then the special package for $23, the limited premium pack 10, which is going to cost you 150 diamonds. And then the limited premium pack one, which is really just a small chance um, you spending 15 diamonds just kind of give it a run see if you're able to get something um, but all in all just a standard Stacy banner looking at the mission event though I honestly don't want to talk too much about it because this is your reward a premium pack 30 for all your trouble so if you had to spend any diamonds in order to complete this which is gonna happen unless you want to spend actual money you only get a premium pack 30 and just to illustrate the point of how bad of a reward that is, you can go into the shop right now and then just go under card packs and check out premium packs. And for 240 diamonds, which is less than the cost of two of the, uh, the 10 card packs, you can get the same reward. So it's not even a wallpaper. It's nothing particularly special. So all in all, I would just skip this one entirely. Go get your two free cards, the one free card for completing the song five times, and then the one free card for getting that first card, and then just be okay with that. I really don't recommend spending too much money unless you really like the cards themselves and you need to use your theme or you need to get a theme for younglove.com. All right, just like the previous stuff in Superstar JYP, the Star Passes here is going to be everything you can get from the Stacy Special Card Star Pass. The Special Currency one is literally the exact same thing as JYP. Just like I said with the Superstar JYP game, see how far you get in the tiers before deciding if you want to purchase the Premium Pass because the Premium Pass, again, does cost actual money. So you want to make sure you're making the most of it by climbing as many tiers as possible. Goodbye 2023 for Stacy is really, really good because the game came out in 2023. So almost all of the themes, I think minus event themes and original themes, are available through this banner here. And this banner does have a selector. And again, the game came out in 2023, so basically almost every single card is up for grabs with the selector. And lastly, limited theme package for each group, total bait. Not going to go over it again. Total waste of money. There is way better stuff you can get from the Goodbye 2023, especially since there's a selector there. So that's going to be my thoughts about the weekly news update. Again, it's a huge, 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 huge quality of life improvement that they did with the weekly league rule revision, making it so that it's easier for everyone to get rewards. It fosters more competition and it actually 
can make people want to play more knowing that there's diamonds at the end of the week for them. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time. That's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, until next time, take it easy.